international executive, I've arranged for the girls to have a fantastic photo shoot um, that's going to be used for all their press opportunities and to introduce the girls to the country again. So they, these images are going to be featured in all the newspapers, magazines, all the press coverage and it's really important for the girls to look like themselves. And um, we just went through the whole process in guiding the girls to really um, have flattering body shapes, uh, to have expression in their faces, to not be too concerned about the garments, you're not selling a dress, you're selling yourself and ultimately the, the dress is there to show you off. And it was really interesting to see how the girls have grown from the first the first profile shots with, that we've done to um, where they've done the bikini shots and the, the evening gown shots. They look absolutely immaculate. If you look at the images, I think it's always a good thing for Miss Essa to look her best in a photograph because that's the thing that's pe that people are going to see of you first. So it really sets the tone and people need to be able to see your personality, your expression, um, that sincerity and the smile. All of that needs to be communicated in a photograph, but ultimately, it doesn't help if a girl looks fantastic in a, in a picture and when you see her in person they're like, oh, is this the same girl? A lot of the girls often make the mistake and think, oh no, this is my good side, that, am, that is my good side. And there's nothing worse than seeing a girl always taking a picture with her head like this because then she always looks the same. And when you see her in person, you see her from different sides and you see her in movement and all of a sudden she's completely irrecognizable. So what we've also done is we've tried to show off the girls uh, different features, different sides, so people get used to what this girl looks like, her versatility, which is really important if you want to become a model or want to compete on an international level. Also for girls, I absolutely hate a fake smile. There's no sense in taking a picture of someone if they're like, there's nothing that gets communicated through that smile so always to have a sincere smile if you have to make yourself giggle then do it but please have a sincere smile and also um, a pout a pout is something that you can do in a high fashion shoot or in a in a, a really um, um, a smoldering portrait but to take a candid picture and to be all serious and trying to suck your cheeks in, um, it makes you unrelatable. I think you can see a girl's confidence in her, in her posture, first and foremost. Uh, something that we really spoke to all the girls about was that you have to have a great posture. There's no sense in slouching or that it doesn't look flattering on anyone. Um, and you're not this high fashion model um, every single day where you have to make all these odd shapes and figures. So the most flattering is the typical pageant pose where you cross your one leg in front of the other one, you stand with your hips at an angle to your camera so it's not bluntly in front of the camera and it catches your wider side. Um, and then a hand and a hip is always flattering because it creates an S body shape. And that S body shape is really the ideal because it shows off a, f a girl's figure. It, it creates the illusion of an hourglass figure which looks flattering and feminine on any woman. For my beautiful top 12 who are going through their challenge week, my advice to you is really just to take everything in your stride. Um, this is not the most difficult time a Miss Essay will ever encounter. So if this week is a huge challenge to you and you're trying to cope with everything in you, know that there are still greater challenges to come. So I think the, the success in the whole formula is really just to take everything in your stride um, and to really keep focus on the task at hand and to make the best of it and really enjoy it because ultimately this is a once in a lifetime experience. If you don't, if you don't enjoy it, it's going to be a forgettable one. Miss South Africa, inspire a nation. Miss South Africa 2014, proudly sponsored by Cell C.